Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, South on the other one, and it's Jenny Jr. But, this is that other galaxy. No, not Star Wars, not Star Trek. It's a dangerous galaxy. Mmm, for the mug. So, I wanted to kind of do a shout out. Um, yes, I took a break from the, um, Ollie Dangerous game. Um, kind of, because I kind of got burnt out on the game. That's everything else. Um, Star Wars also kind of burned me out. So I thought a contrary on Star Trek, because I was not going to give up on Star Trek. Get my fleet to a teeth tied little, and so I didn't give up on Star Trek. But Star Wars and Ollie Dangerous... You know, doing three game streams a day, yeah, I kind of got burnt out. But, the reason I'm bringing this out, oh my god. No, wait, wrong voice. My girlfriend would be mad at me. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're so lost in the galaxy. What are we going to do? Oh, my luck is so empty. Oh my god. And for the ones that follow my stream on my girlfriend's stream, yeah, she's over in the corner laughing, and I'll have to pick her up in a couple of minutes, so, yeah, thank God I've got a, uh, kind of the extra plushy furry carpet for her to fall on the floor on, so she don't uh, bang her little head. Oh, the poor little thing. Anyway, um, I'm kind of doing a... Um, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, like an overwrite, or whatever you want to call those. Um, our good friend of City and Ant is actually, now all of us, I mean, our Hudson Older Radio Group, I actually got on to the third time last night, but our show ran late, because the people over in Elite Dangerous, um, uh, you know, basically ran over time, so Obsidian Ant's already done its little summary, um, uh, the Yannick is actually live right now, um, uh, because I can see on Discord he's live, uh, talking about this, this and everything else and all, so, but we're gonna kinda, you know, do this, but I will put Obsidian Ant's link in, so you can see it to yourself and hear his comment. But I'm gonna go ahead and play through. Um, I've got I've got to make some sense or pointers, I guess you'd want to call it. So let's go ahead and like play it. Now when you start the video, yeah, they spend all this time. What you're seeing here, is night vision. Now this is gonna be really cool because when on some of these places, you know, you have to go to. It's on the dark side of the planet. You cannot see it. Notice the green, green. This is actually like night view or night vision. If you have like a nighttime goggle or those like those infrared goggles, you will be able to see where you got to go. Because me being a cargo runner, I've actually had quite a few times where I had to go to a planet and I can't really see too well because it's on the dark side to make the landing. So, um, as you can see here, uh, that is going to be cool as hell. Um, and I'm going to let it go through. Cause like I said, definitely go to Obsidian's Ant and watch his video. Because he's really, really did a good job summarizing it. Because uh, like I said, the Elite Dangerous crew took forever. Now this next one. So you people who's got basically the Nevada graphics card... Yeah, this is that ray uh, technology and ray lighting technology. Because they're actually going to be improving the graphics quality of the game. Alright, and here they are. Now what they're doing is they're basically talking about exploration. Uh, now this part is cool. If you are like going out in deep space and looking through deep space, uh, this everything else, uh, you used to be able to get lost, this everything else. You know, like, like I had one system that had like 84 planets. It took me a good two to three hours to examine all 84 of them. So finally somebody had already been out there and put a name claim on it. Uh, now I will put it there. I'm gonna pause it right there. Let me backtrack it just a little bit. I right, stop. Um, one good thing is Obsidian and I was watching the stream as well as you know everybody else on my grid. 
Um, one good thing, if you do not to these systems, notice it's unexplored, unexplored, unexplored. If you then out and you were the first one to that system and scanned it and then came back to the bubble and basically say, hey, I was at, you know, this memorial thingy, blah, blah. Um, I examined this thing. It's it's a possible Thor God day, possible pirate base. Um, they have actually said that the codex system that they used to map these planets and create these planets if you was out there, the first one out there scanned it and came back to the bubble with the intonation, you're not going to get overwritten. You will still hold the title that you found that planet, you found that system, and you found, you know, this is a gas giant, this is a rock planet, this is a pirate base. Uh, you will hold the title uh, to that system. So that is cool. A city name picked that up. Uh, the group, the Hudson Orbitals, we was watching it also together on the Hudson Orbitals, um, you know, team thing thing yesterday. So, that is going to be cool as hell that if you was out there and you were first there, you're not going to lose your title. You will hold it and just everything else. But here's the next thing that's cool as hell. Uh, now I'm going to let it play. All right, now, on this point, he's talking about the star system, this and everything else. Um... Gonna speed it up a little bit. All right. Now, on this point, they're basically talking about the Galnet News thing. Um, you will be able to put, you know, certain things. So, if you want to hear certain reports, <laughs> excuse me, like certain reports and certain things, you will be able to hear those reports and this and everything else. While everything else, nope, Galnet will just ignore them because you're not interested. Um... And there's that graphic ability. Because like I said, they are really bringing a big update to the graphic side. So if you didn't like playing this game, and you want to see this like in 4K, yeah. You'll still need a strong computer, you know, to kind of do it, this and everything else and all. Alright, so we should be on the one part. Alright, right there. I'm tapping it right there. Alright, now this part is for you explorers. Uh, I love the city in. He actually took, you know, so go watch his stream. He actually took the majority of this time, you know, looking at this part. That they're not. Why? Because a city in is the king of, you know, deep space exploring, deep space, you know, examining things, you know, finding the train trees and this and all. Obsidian Inn is the king of deep space exploring. Um, this part is going to be very interesting. One, we're going to be getting the pro thing that we'll be able to use. Um, you will be able to read or recreate those the throads over and over and over because once you launch one, you know, you lose the use of that once you launch it. Um, you know, so when you, you know, launch it, um, you can use it till it expires. Then when it expires, you'll have to use another one. But you can craft it. You will be able to, you know, sense and size with your material that you have on your ship so you can create more. Uh, but the good news is, if you notice, we're by a star. So he technically fuel scoop thing and looking what's in the system. Uh, and you see here, uh, an analysis node activating. And another good thing, if you've got like me, who's got the advanced scanner, the like the noodle scanner, and then the basic, uh, they're all going to be rolled up into one. You're going to have one advanced scanner, but the other two, if you've got the basic and the like the one that's in the middle, uh, I think it's called intermediate, I think, or, or uh, yeah, advanced, intermediate, and I think basic. 
The other two, basic and intermediate, you're going to get your money refunded. But the advanced scanner is going to get an improvement to make it better. Alright, now we're going to play through. Now on this part, oh, let's see, how far are we in? Yes, we are. So on this part, after basically talking about the city, it was also pointing out that when you go exploring, you to the if you got to a sit down and the thing popped up on your dance scanner saying to do it like sixty some planets. All right, we're gonna stop right there. Um, you know, and you uh, you uh, came in and said you're like sixty some planets. If you wanted to go looking. You literally would have to leave the star after you done fuel scooting and go to each one with your detail scanner and personally scan those planets. You know, this is this is a gas giant. This is a, a rocky planet. This is a tartar thing. This is a Thorogod thing. Uh, this is a uh, alien girl gone wild, you know, party house planet. You know, the whole nine yards type deal. No. When this system comes online, and they actually said that in December, it's definitely going to be coming out in about three to four weeks, this system is going to be coming online. Um, you do not have to leave the star. You can literally do everything from the star, so you can keep the little scoot thing. Um, but you'll be able to do everything from the star, and using these little probe thingies, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start playing through you notice, California Sector 84, so right away it's telling him that, you know, he's at this uh, star known as California or something like that. And remember, if you found this system, your name's not going to get overwritten. You will call the title of Finding California Sector. Now, technically, you're in this crowd. This little view that you're seeing, you're actually in this crowd. And there's the probe, you know, scanner thingy. There are the little planet established. Now you notice how they're pointing out. And the city name was actually, you know, making the comment that they would. They saw these three planets. They concentrated on the one in the center. Of course, this guy here gave it away saying that he knew that it was a gas giant and what the uh, planet would consist of, this and everything else. So this guy right here, like, gave it away. But as you're kind of watching, you're actually in this crowd looking around. So you see there's one of the 11. So there's basically uh, 11 planets in that system. Um, there's 15 unknown singles, meaning it could be anything. Wreck ships, uh, Thorgut ships, uh, tire attacks. But now you see the little singly thingy. They're now going to start focusing. As you can see, they'll lock it on this one planet in the middle. And like I said, I'll sit in it. Definitely go to his stream, because he's really going into details about this, because he is very excited for this, and so am I. So am I. And then, like I said, right here, he talks about how he knows go to what? Bingo. It's a gas giant. Bingo. So we're going to pause it right there. So, if you notice, like you said, this guy right here gave it away, knowing that it was a gas giant. Uh, and you see right away, uh, location none, tells you how much salt they're called tonight, blah, blah. But you see the detail. Uh, you've got to give, um, you know, credit where credit deal. They really want to work on this. Now we're going to go ahead and speed it up. And you see right there, there's a uh, credit thing in. And there it is, being added to the codex. Yeah, he's basically talking about the system. Now notice, all right, we're going to pause it right there. Now notice... There. Now notice, there's now two of the eleven that everything else. And then he talks about how you've identified this with this little throat thing. 
Uh, and remember, you're still in this little throat thing. You're in control of this throat, flying around the system in this little throat instead of your ship, because your ship is basically sitting by the star fuel scoop thing and getting his energy source from the star. But you're inside this throat, flying around, scanning, getting information, and then sending a thought to your ship. So, yes, you've now identified this gas giant. There's still two more planets on each side. Yeah, this guy is, like, telling everything, giving it all away. Uh, but again, you're still in this throat thing. Um, the the deep space explorers, yeah, this is going to be cool as hell. Uh, and then you can see you're able to zip around. And remember, you are on a timer to these probes. Eventually, this probe's going to expire, and you'll have to launch another one. Now, I'm going to click it right there. Now, I'm going to go back just a little bit. All right. So now, as you see, he's kind of, you know, like fast forward a little bit to everything else. Because, like I said, I'm sitting in hand. Thank you for condensing this down some. Uh, this was a very long stream, and it actually went over our uh, Hudson Orbital tr Truckers crew to everything else. So thank you, City and Ant, for condensing this. But you see, you found the planet here, or the gas giant that you found. Now, they're over here, like on the other side of the star, basically. And look at what's over here. And you see he found, like, two, three others. Uh, and then as the other thing that both the city and I heard on the stream, each one of these, when you used to throw the zoom in on these, each one of them made a distinct sound, like a gas giant, like a Jupiter gas giant sound. Um, uh, you know, there was one where they were looking at an asteroid, and the asteroid gave a, a distinct sound. Um, but it's very interesting, and there it is. So as you can see right there, there's another planet that they had now found. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let this play through. Uh, so as you can see, discover sector, blah, 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 another gas giant. Um, and then he talks about how yeah, just as they were finding it, the probe dies. So <laughs> when the probe dies, you're automatically back in your ship, this, everything else. Um, and then there you go. Another probe set. And you can see the little probe being launched. Now, this is a what's called a detail thread, where you can launch this thing, and depending on how you bounce it, and there it is. The detail thread is literally uh, scanning the whole planet. And as you can see, you know, and as you see, it takes a few minutes to kind of scan the planet. Uh, nine things detected, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that is cool as hell, that they was able to fire this, uh, like, detailed scan approach at the planet, kind of like if you ever watched Star Trek, uh, Star Trek, you know, launch probe, let probe scan planet, you know, have probe give you detail and so back. That's exactly what the idea is. You are literally sending these probes out. You can't crack them, so you can make a bunch of them, send it over to these planets to scan the planets, um, and you see, they're basically, like, right here. Uh, so when they first went in here, this whole system was unknown. Uh, they scanned the star first. Now, this right here is cool. I'm going to let it play. All right. So, do you kind of see, they are zooming in on the star system. That's everything else. Now, this is going to be cool as hell for the detector floors because you will be able to scan this stuff and see the rotation. So, here's the star. You're over here, basically. You know, you're basically over here. But you see, you will be able to see the rotation of the system. That's everything else. So, that way you can see... You know, where you are related to over here, to over there, to over there. You'll be able to see, you know, what's around you, what, what's near you. That is going to be cool as hell.
Like right there, there's like Thor there. Now I'm actually going to kind of speed this up a little bit because this next part is a mind blower. The reason why I say that, yeah, they're showing this detailed spot, this everything else, and yeah, you're like over here, but you see, you're able to see this whole system, even though you're like on this outside edge, you know, that you're able to see, no, there you are, right there in the center, but you're able to see what's around you, which is going to be cool as hell. Alright, uh, I'm going to kind of speed it up. Now, this part is a non-blower. Yes, you will be able to see yourself. This is going to be the new codex. Like I said earlier, if you find something, your name will not get erased. You will hold the title that you found in a Rockney planet or Dance a Lot planet. You know, you will hold that title that you found it, and it's not going to get overridden. But, as you can see here, you'll have a better uh, codex system. You know, they'll track you where you go, what you found, and this and everything else and all while you're flying around and doing things. At City and Ian, we're really excited about this part because uh, when it comes to basically out deep space, there's some planet, there's really not nothing on the planet. It's just a basically recreation of 10 million other planets that the game is able to create and, you know, replicate. That everything else. Uh, but they did say that they are going to be changing the algorithm a little bit to make it where when you're out there in the deep space, you're going to find interesting things on planet. And even though they do use a game generator type engine to create these planets and create these systems, um, but it's going to be very interesting because each one is going to be kind of unique instead of just, okay, this is a gas giant 10 million times one. Now, this part is the part I'm looking forward to. If you notice, and in fact, I ain't going to block it. I'm going to hold it right there. If you notice, there's these blocks. They have actually said that they're going to be breaking the thing down where, yes, the thing is huge. Uh, some of these places are still locked off. You're still not be able to go there because it's, you know, locked down for some kind of story that they want to get to soon and create there for that area. But a lot of these other areas, a lot of these other, you know, the locks basically around here and like here, 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 um, they're going to be unlocked where you can go in, scan everything, explore everything. Um, and you that'll put your name on these, uh, systems. Um, and you see, he's on the outer edge. Even on the far outer edge. So the whole entire map is literally unlocked. Literally. Alright, so, now I'm gonna back out. Now, do you remember, it was in the California sector... Uh, and you see where they are. And I'm going to kind of speed this up, because the rest of this I really don't care, Thor. Uh... Yeah, right there. Alright, so when you get into the thing, when you go into the codex thing, if you'll notice, we've got a few new extra names in here. As you're exploring, as they were saying, that in all of these, you know, maps on the system are owned by somebody, and when you go into that system and unlock it, and, like, unlock a codex thing, you can have a thing that's going to pop up and tell you, you know, hey, this happened here, and this is what's what. Um, but then I'm going to kind of speed this up forward, 
where, like this one here, they basically went into the entire and, and clicked on, like, the, the start of the entire and who the entire was. And you see my ancestor, the third emperor, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is going to be interesting to people such as me, who's an accolade hunter and a lore hunter and a story hunter. This is going to be cool as hell, because when you're going into these different areas and finding these lore objects or accolade objects to unlock and listen to and look at, it's going to be showing up in this codec base that you can listen to, and every one of them is actually doiced over. A city and ants in here, um, you know, some of the others, like Cecil and, you know, some of the others that's well-known in the Elite Dangerous world for, you know, making games streams or you know voice others uh like ac stuff or the um the voice tax this everything else there's a lot of people that actually came into the elite danger department and put their you know voice to work and put in the uh, voice others so this part's going to be really cool for the deep space hunters that want to find interesting lore objects or accolade story to unlock and listen to um, alright, um, I'm going to skip over that. Alright, I'm going to skip over that. Um, now here, as you see, they have updated the, uh, the little, um, uh, icon thingies. This did not go. They're getting an improvement. Uh, so you can see there, there's an improvement. Uh, now here is the part I was looking for. This is cool as hell. If you like to look at your shit and see what your shit is doing, uh, you get to the, you know, you click here, click here, click here, and you get these little things. As you can see, they have extended on, you know, what your shit is doing, what's going on with your shit, that's everything else. They are actually updating the little, um... Uh, the hut thingy, you know, just everything else. So that's going to be cool as hell. And like I said, definitely go Obsidian in because he definitely needed his two cents on it because he thought it was pretty cool too. Um, and then you see Shelt and this and everything else. Oh, wait, go ahead. Um, uh, now this part right here, the you people that have been trying to, like, build up your, uh, reputations and, uh, you know, your, your reputless thing, just everything else. The little, you notice here, your ranking systems are going to be getting an update. So that way you know, you know, if you're like, oh, the Hudson on little truckers, you know, are you in the red, this and everything else, and you're just basically an unknown, or are you, you know, kind of like in the middle, but once you get to the blue, you're basically an ally. You're a friend once you get into the blue area. Um, and then you see here, status, um, your ship will actually have kind of like a black box. It's the best way I can describe it. It's a black box where it will travel with you and tell you where you was, what you didn't do, um, you know, what you did, uh, this, and everything else. And all. You'll basically have a black box on your uh, ship now that will travel with you and record you and help you basically, you know, knock out what you're doing in the game. Um... And then, of course, there's a city and sand thingy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right there. So definitely go to city and ant. I'll put his link in. This and everything else. Definitely go look at his link. This and everything else. Um, I do think Obsidian and ant are taking the time to kind of condense this down a little bit. Because, like I said, our show ran out, uh, ran late because we were all watching Elite Dangerous. This and all. So our show ran late thanks to these guys. But uh, they gave a lot of good info that's coming in literally three to four weeks. So this December is going to be fun. And Jimmy and Mark will be back. Um, I don't mind cargo running, but I hate the damn tire to steal my cargo. But the deep space exploring, I am all for this. So Jimmy and I will be out in deep space, seeing this stuff and exploring and finding things. So, and I will see everybody later now. Bye!